Hey guys, Top Pops here, and in today's video, we are going to be opening up five 4th of July Chow's Collectibles mystery boxes. So, let's get started. And now I do want to mention that I was over on their website looking at the mystery box listing to see if I could find anything out about what's going to be inside of here. And all they have on here is a 4th of July mystery box photo, and that's what it looks like right there. So it gives me absolutely nothing. And then I was thinking, well, maybe they put one up on their Instagram. And it does say down here, box includes one pop at random from pictures. And then in brackets, see Instagram. But it seems like they've deleted it since then. So I have no clue what's inside of these. And also, I do want to mention that I bought five of these. And each of them were $20. So we have $100 worth of Chow's Collectibles 4th of July mystery boxes. So let's just crack into this thing and see what we got inside. And honestly, I'm pretty excited because the last time we did this, we got some decent figures. Then also, at the end of the video, I'm going to be tallying up all of their prices to see did we make our money back because all I'm trying to do is beat a hundred dollars and then that's about it. All right guys so here we go and they also have the really nice Chow's collectibles boxes so this is going to be fun to crack into all five of these and find out what we get and I wish I knew what was inside of here probably a couple Chow's collectibles exclusives but other than that I've got no idea. Now the question is which one do we start with here because this one feels pretty light so does this one I like going with the heaviest one maybe last or first I don't know but this one here ooh. This one here feels heavier. Let's start with this one. All right, guys, so I guess I'll show you first. And I don't know if this is going to be right side up or upside down, but let's just see. Here we go. Three, two, one. What do we get? Is it good? Please be good. Is it? It is. Ooh, all right. Anakin Skywalker. I have this one, but it's definitely a nice pop. At least I think I do. Actually, maybe I don't. Maybe I'm thinking of a different Anakin. I'll have to check. But if you guys want to check out this Anakin Skywalker a little bit closer up, there he is right here. And I really do enjoy this figure. And actually, now that I say that, I don't ever remember him seeing him in the collection. The problem is, is that I have a couple pops covering my Star Wars ones. I know it's not the greatest setup right now. I am working on that. But yeah, I don't get to look at them very often. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure if I have this one in the collection. I feel like I do but I'll have to check later. All right, guys, box number one. Now let's get on to box number two. And this one here feels, well, I mean, I can't tell now because it's out of the box, but it does feel a little bit lighter than the last one we did. So let's see, what are we gonna get inside of this one? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. It is, who is it? Please be someone good. It is, okay, Michael Scott Basketball. Now the problem with this one is, is I did order this one off of Chow's Collectibles website. So it is kind of sad that I'm getting another one but at least it's a good office pop. And actually my box of these guys just came in. I ordered a couple Dwight's because there is a chase that goes along with it as well as Michael Scott. And it is kind of sad that I'm getting a double, but I'm sure somebody I know will enjoy this. So it's not that big of a deal. And I'm not gonna show it off too close up today just because we are doing a video on it pretty soon. So anyways, let's get on to the next one here because we've got three more to go through today. And this one here feels a little bit different. I don't know, let me see here. Hmm, this one. This one feels like it has a lot of stickers. Let's do this next. All right, everybody, so here we go. This is the one that feels like it has a lot of stickers. How do I know that? I have no clue. But anyways, here we go. Three, two, one. Who is it? Do they have a lot of stickers? They don't. They've got one. It's more than none. But this one here is the Madame Mim from Disney's The Sword in the Stone. I don't have it. I'll take it. Oh, this is interesting. So on the backside of the sword in the stone box, they actually put the sword inside of the stone or more so an anvil. I don't know why they say the stone, but anyways, that is definitely neat that they put that on the back there. And yeah, it's, it's an ugly pop, but I mean, it's one that I don't have and it's better than Michael Scott because I already have a Michael Scott coming where this one, I don't have this one at all. And because this one is from WonderCon, I feel like this one might be worth a little bit. I don't know where this one was shared with maybe Hot Topic or Box Lunch. One of those two right there, but it's definitely an interesting one and I will have to check the price at the end because this one could be worth a lot or it could be worth absolutely nothing. I've got no clue. And like I said, guys, the goal for today is to beat $100. So with these three right here, I feel like the Anakin one is kind of pricey, maybe at like 40 to 50. And then the Michael Scott one is still available on their website. Website, so I'm not too sure but then this one here with it being a WonderCon exclusive I mean, I really couldn't tell ya. Okay guys, so I've got two more boxes left and I don't know why I like going off weight, but it is kind of fun. And this one here feels a little bit heavier, so let's do this one first. And here we go, guys. Are we gonna get something cool? Possibly a couple stickers. I don't know why, but I feel like the more stickers, the weirder the pop is, or maybe like the rarer the pop is, because it could be like a chase and flocked or glow in the dark and something. I don't know, whatever. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Is it good? 
Does it have more than one sticker? That would be neat. It is, aha, it does have two stickers. I told you it was cool if it had two. And this one right here, guys, is the normally box lunch exclusive, but this one seems to be shared. And it also has one of those boxes where it seems to be, yes, it is one of the recycled ones. It says on the back, figures 20% recycled, box is 80% recycled, and then the blister slash window box is pet material 100% recyclable. So you could plant this thing and practically grow a flower. And this one is also Ang Spirit from Avatar. And I know that this one just recently came out so it is cool that I got it in these mystery boxes because this is a really nice pop and I want to pop this one out of the box before we check out the last one because I want to see how translucent this figure is and wow look at this I love the body and it's really cool that you can see the eyes through the back of the head do you see what I mean there like you can see them right through it and now because I know that this one sold out pretty quickly I'm hoping that this one's worth a little bit more to help make back that hundred dollars but now let's get on to the last figure which I I'm so excited to check out after getting this one. All right guys, so here we go. What are we gonna get in this last one here? I was also right about the double sticker, so maybe in this one, we'll get a triple sticker. That would be crazy. So here we go, three, two, one. What is it? Is it good? It is, hey, you know what? I don't have this one. This is an Emerald City Comic Con exclusive, and I believe it's pronounced Mantena from Masters of the Universe. And now I'm gonna be honest, I don't know much about this figure, but if any of you guys that are watching know more about Mantena, please put it in the comment section below because I would love to learn something about him. And well guys, there you go. This is everything that I got inside of my Chalice Collectibles mystery boxes. And I will say for $100, this is a lot of stickers, which usually means more expensive pops. So let's check out the prices. All right, everybody. So I broke out my handy dandy whiteboard and let's go through all of the prices here, starting with Mantena and then ending on Anakin. So the first one here, Mantena, we have $18. Not bad, a little under, but I'll take. It. Then next up here, guys, we have Spirit Ang coming in at a whopping $35, almost double the value of the box. And then we've got Michael Scott coming in at $24, actually a little bit higher than some of the others, and I thought that this one here was going to be the lowest. And then, guys, next up here, we have Madame Mim. I might have said Madame Nim earlier. Anyways, I apologize to all of the Mim fans out there, but anyways, this one here came in at $19, just a dollar more than Mantena. And then, guys, last but not least, we have Anakin here, and I feel like I should have known it was going to be a little bit more expensive when it came in a pop protector when the rest of them didn't but this one is a whopping $60, so three times the amount of the box. Which, guys, I seriously think is crazy. And if you guys are wondering what all of these totaled up to be, it is $156. So 56 more than I paid for all of these boxes, which actually also pays for my shipping and then a little bit extra. Oh, and also, guys, I do want to mention that when I was on the Funko app, it said that I don't have Anakin in my collection, so I guess this one here is my first. And I do want to mention, if you guys are ever thinking of getting any Child's Collectibles mystery boxes, this one is not sponsored. I paid for all of this, but I seriously do think that they have some great boxes and I definitely recommend you check them out. And well, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and please let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite thing that I got out of all of these mystery boxes because for me, just because I didn't expect it, I think that Ang Spirit's got to be up there or maybe the Anakin just because of the price on this figure, but also I really do enjoy the yellow eyes with the red around them. That is definitely something interesting you don't see on a pop very often. And well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching and if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that, but this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. School. On a four with school. School. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B five four thump. I'm a hump on a bounce. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Hey. Lemme lasses.